The way you're waking up this morning. Hello, good morning. Cheshire's Dame Laura Kenny, Britain's most successful female Olympian, has announced her retirement from cycling. The 31-year-old has won five Olympic golds and seven world championship titles. She gave birth to her second child in July with her husband and fellow Olympic champion Sir Jason Kenny. Just the sacrifices of leaving your children and your family at home is really quite big and it really is like a big decision that you have to make. And it was getting more and more that I was struggling to do that. And the more people asked me what races was I doing, what training camps was I going on, I didn't want to go, <laughs> ultimately. And I think that's what it came down to. Two men are being questioned as part of a murder investigation. Police say a man was killed as he tried to stop his car being stolen. The 57-year-old man was hit by a Land Rover on Olympic Street in Beswick at around 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. Greater Manchester Police say there's been a spike in gold thefts as gangs of thieves target Muslim households during the holy month of Ramadan. It's just over a week since the start of the month-long celebration where families visit relatives and go to prayer more often. More than £1 million worth of gold has been stolen in the county since last August. The force has now stepped up patrols in Oldham and Rochdale where there's been a spate of recent break-ins. Meanwhile, nine people who took part in a violent protest outside a hotel housing asylum seekers in Knowsley are expected to be sentenced later. Around 300 people took part in the demo outside the Suites Hotel in February last year with bricks, bottles and fireworks thrown at police. Detectives say the violence was sparked by an allegation of sexual assault made by a teenage girl. A public park opens this morning on the roof of Stockport's new bus station. Viaduct Park has views overlooking the River Mersey and there's also a new walkway to the town's railway station. Next to sport and in the FA Cup quarter-final, Manchester United scored a dramatic goal in the last moments of extra time to beat Liverpool 4-3. The United manager Eric Ten Hag said they had to change their tactics to get the win. Finally, yeah, we, we changed our style, uh, the system especially, and from that moment on we took back the initiative and we believed in it and we created chances and we scored goals. Here's the weather with Gillian. Hello there, good morning to you. Well, a fairly bright day on the cards for many of us today. Fairly settled at the minute. We do have this approaching weather front though that will start to move in as we head into tonight's so turning a bit more unsettled. For some of us, we may get one or two of those isolated showers this morning, but then into the afternoon, it turns a bit brighter. Some of the sunshine might be a little bit hazy as that cloud starts to move in, but a pretty mild day, 14 or 15 degrees Celsius. So we see that cloud moving through tonight. Our next weather front then comes in from the west. That will bring some heavier, more persistent spells of rain for some of us across the northwest and that will last into the early hours. You'll notice the winds picking up as well, so pretty gusty, particularly there for places in the Isle of Man. Temperatures still on the mild side as we head overnight tonight, 9 or 10 degrees Celsius. So it does look like a bit of an unsettled story as we head through the rest of this week. Temperatures as well turning a bit cooler towards the weekend. That's it for now. You can keep up to date with us online. I'll be back with more just before seven.